Now that you have your emoji finished, it's time to make it into a GIF. If you don't know, a GIF is something that makes your character a little bit animated. Something really short that can be repeated over and over. To start out, you're going to need the right palette for the job. So go to Window and find Timeline. Incidentally, if you lose anything on your screen, this is where you can get it back. But you click Timeline, and we don't really want it to be floating out here in the middle. So I'm going to drag it down until I meet that blue line. There's the blue line, the bottom of the screen. And when I let go, it will be stuck in this lower part of the window. There are two options here, create frame animation and create video timeline. You do want create frame animation. So once you click that, then you can press it and then you have frame animation. And before you do anything, take a look at my drop down menu. You do not want any check marks on the side. So often when you first start out, you'll see this check marked and I find it easier usually to not use that. So I'll uncheck it and this is what your drop down menu should look like over there. There are several different ways that you can do your animation. I will show you three that will probably meet your needs. One easy thing that you can do is to move an object from point A to point B. So for example, what if I wanted his arm to move? Maybe like he's waving. So let's say I wanted it to move from right here to over here. So he's gonna wave back and forth. You're going to create a new frame. And then in this layer, if you have your move tool selected, you should be able to move it over. And then if you select both of these by holding shift and click. This option right here is called tween. And when you click that, you'll get a few options here. Frames to add means how many in between those two frames that it's gonna add. So if I leave it right here, it's gonna add five frames. For the fun of it, let's add seven. And you want all layers to be moved most of these options should stay exactly the way they are. Now, if I push play, his arm's gonna move. Do it again, and his arm moves. Now let's say we want the arm to move back. You need to select all frames again, so shift and click, and go to your down arrow, copy those frames, and again, paste those frames. And one more time, because it's gonna start over right here, so the hand moves over, and then it's gonna jump back and move over again. So we need to reverse those frames. And now let's take a look at our animation. Point A, point B to point A. And if you want it to go forever, that's right here in this option. And now when I click play, it will back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Let's say we want it to pause in a specific place. If you notice, each one of these frames is a new movement, because that's what happened when we used this tween option. It moves a tiny bit each time. But let's say that we want it to pause at the beginning. We want to be able to pause right there. If you click the down arrow, you'll see these options. Right now, it's on no delay or zero seconds. So if I wanted to pause for, say, 0.2 seconds, now let's see what that looks like. Pause it, pause, back, and pause, and back, and pause. You can do this for multiples at a time. So let's say that we wanted it to pause at the end of the animation a little bit more. So I can click this one, hold down shift, and click that one. And when I use that drop down menu, 
I can pause all of those for 0.2 seconds. So all of these ones are 0 seconds. All of these ones are 0.2 and then back to 0 seconds. So let's play that really quickly. And that completes that little animation. You can do this for any feature on the face. For example, if you move the eyebrows up and down or maybe the ears go up and down or perhaps even the eyes go back and forth, which is going to be a little bit more difficult if you cut off your eye. It might not fit. This tween option is what I used in this paintbrush when it goes down. So when I start it, it's up high and it goes down. So I use tween from right here all the way to right there. So it goes all the way down. So I used 10 frames in between these two. And then I started here and I did one and it goes down, 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 down until it disappears and I have a new one. And then again it goes down, 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 down until you don't see it anymore. So I did tween three times for this one. And just to show you again, it looks like this. That's what the tween option can do for you.